I started some more plants in my arrow garden. One of the things I'm most excited about is the basil. This time I'm trying some Thai basil. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little experiment. What I want to do on this basil that's already sprouted is cut it right between these nodes here. And then I'm gonna take the cuttings and put it in this shot glass here, hoping it'll root. And then ultimately, instead of having three stalks of basil, I'll have five. There we go. So we have this guy. We'll put him in there. And I'll do that with this one too. And hopefully the ones in the arrow garden will keep growing. And then these ones will root and then I can plant them in the dirt at the same time, so it'll be a lot fuller of a, of a basil plant. Look at this. So this is the basil that I trimmed. I don't know if you can see where the node is where I cut it off on both of these, and they're totally thriving. Look how big they've gotten. This was not even 48 hours ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this guy here. So impressive, the basil really loves to be cut back and it just thrives after you take trimmings off of it, even when it's only two weeks old. This is from my arrow garden, and as you saw, I cut the top off of all three of these basil stems and they totally sprouted off into kind of a Y-shaped stem which is great. It looks super healthy, ready to go in the dirt. So I'll be putting this in the dirt today. I'm gonna start it in a small pot and then size up as it grows. But these were the tops that I cut off. Look at this. Look at the root system on those. So I have three stems that are now rooting. I'm gonna have a really bushy six stemmed basil plant and my experiment worked pretty good. I wasn't sure if it was too soon to cut on this guy when it was so small, but it just, everything just thrived. Okay, there we have it. So I planted them close together because I want them to really grow, you know, like they were all growing together from the same seeds. This is day one. It might be a little bit of shock going into the soil, but we'll tend to that. I'm really happy with this. Excited for it to mature a little bit more and then I'll put it in a larger pot. This Thai basil plant is doing really well. You can see all of the growth, how bushy it's getting. It looks really good. You can see the where I cut it to create the extra starters but it's doing just fine. And I do use it, um, you know, the more you use the basil, the more it grows. So even at this small, um, at this small stature, it's still doing really well. And I'm super excited. I love basil, so we just can't seem to get enough on the boat.